Hey there everyone, this is Cow. I'm doing this early a little bit because I have something to explain and a question to ask. And God knows if I try to ask a question, if I try to explain something in video, it's gonna take me half hour to say half of what I mean to say. And I know myself much better than that, but here he goes. So after Temporal, we will be returning to Rain World. That is what it says in the coming up next thing. That is not unusual. I loved, love, love, love Rain World. And when a Patapon has given me a chance to jump back into Rain World, I took it. I grabbed that chance with my two tiny little paws. And here's the thing. I kind of want to play all. I want to play all of it. Yeah, like, yeah, so this is what happened when I beat the, the game, right? The save file has been replaced with a little ghost. And, uh, you know, now we got other little friends. And here's the thing. So, like, these are from Downpour. I am aware that the characters... Okay, okay, already I'm getting all mixed up. I want to play more Rain World. I want to play as all the characters. The fact that when you beat... Look, see? This this is a hole. I can transform all the little critters into ghosts. I, I want to play the game as everyone. And I'm aware that the downpour characters are fairly different. They all have different gameplay, like, like not like change the universe different, but you know, they have relatively different gameplay with different abilities, a different start, a different goal, a different end, and means to get there. And I believe that even some of them even have like map changes. That to me is exciting and I want to play as all of them. Here's the thing though, <laughs> there is a lot of them. And, um, I feel like if I just did a whole six-month marathon through this, I think people would get tired. I think I would get tired, but I want to go through it. So, so we're going to do things a little bit differently. Going forward, starting with the end of Temporal and, you know, going onward from there, we are going to basically... Like, so, yeah, after Temporal, I'm going to load up. I'm going to play as a critter. I'm going to struggle, I'm going to shout at the game, I'm going to grumble a lot, then I'm going to beat it, I'm going to consider it one of the best video games of all time. And then the night comes, and with the night comes the rain, so we're going to go and hide in our little nest, we're going to get ourselves nice and comfy, and we're going to wait, and we're going to play whatever next game is on the coming up next list. I don't know what game it's going to be at the time. It might be a two-week game. It might be a two-month game. I have no idea. But we'll play another game like normal. And when that game is over, the game on the C slot, the game in the evening, when that game is over, we'll return to Rain World and we play as another critter. So going forward, basically, on the 11 and a half p.m., Eastern Coast time zone slot. It's going to alternate between uh, a run of a critter in Rain World and then just a game as normal. Then a Rain World critter, normal critter, normal critter, normal. Okay, I think that makes sense. I think that makes a lot of sense. So yeah, that means I'm going to play this game for like an entire year, but there's going to be holes in that playthrough uh, to let things breathe a little bit. And I think that's a pretty good way to do that. And I just thought it'd be best for me to explain it clearly and plainly now, here, before we even start. So, there's no confusion. But also, I have a question. It's like I said. So, you know, you got this guy, you know, the gourmand, the artificer. Like, these are special people with special abilities. They do special things. Sounds great. But the monk I could play as from the start of the game, and the hunter I unlock when I beat the game, I believe, those are not part of Downpour. Those are part of the real game. I would like to play as those critters too, but I ask the people who will be watching this series with me, and who know the game, 
is it as worth it? Like, is there, does it make video sense? Now, take into consideration that I'm a bit more aware how the game works and what my goals might be. So I'm thinking they're not going to last nearly as long, like without being able to know for sure. But I don't think they're going to last as long. So I don't know if it's going to be as tiresome. But yeah, I would love to actually start with the monk, then play a game, and then do the hunter. And then afterwards do the downpour critters. And so I ask everyone out, you know, I ask the people are, who are interested. Does that seem interesting to you? If you're going to tell me, Rao Cow, I just want you to do what makes you happy, what brings you joy, then that's going for all critters. That's, that is what that answer is. So just be aware of that. So yeah, I'm just taking the time to ask. I'm putting this video out, this explanation video, like a couple of days early to give people time to see it, notice, and answer my question if they are interested uh, thank you for your interest. I, I, I've loved this game, and I am very looking forward to uh, coming back.